Hello viewers of Vlog Dave. Hello Dave. It's me, Michi from GameStar or GameTube and today I'm gonna quiz you on your knowledge of authentic Bavarian sayings and we start with Hallo zusammen, I'm your vlog Dave and as you can see this isn't a normal, a typical video on this channel because I have a guest who is challenging me even and I don't know how I will do if everything is gonna be great because even though you might think okay Germans know all German dialects and how they sound, what people actually say in those dialects in that way of speaking, verbalizing things that doesn't necessarily have to be the case. In other words, do I know Bavarian? Do I understand Bavarian and what Bavarian people try to say or, well, actually say? Unfortunately for me, maybe not for Michael or Michi or as you might call him, Michael Obermeier, Michael Obermeier, a very likable guy by the way, uh, I don't really understand too much Bavarian, I don't think, because I'm not that experienced with it. I know some people from Bavaria and I know a few things about Bavaria. I haven't been there myself yet, unfortunately. I would really like to go there someday. I'm not surrounded by the Bavarian dialect on a daily basis, let me put it this way. So now I'm gonna try to understand Michael, Michael. Glei? All right, I've listened to it two times now and I think what he says is something like Gleich fällt der Watschenbaum um. Gleich fällt der Watschenbaum um. And I only think he says that because I know of the term der Watschenbaum. It's not a typical German word though, although I really like it. I think it's something very typical for Bavaria, Bayern. If I'm not mistaken, I think many Germans have stumbled on or actually heard of that term, noticed that for the first time in a sentence from our Innenminister Horst Seehofer a couple of weeks ago now. I can't remember the exact statement, but he actually mentioned the term Watschenbaum. Nochmal mache ich einen Watschenbaum nicht. Man kann mich kritisieren, aber das zu reduzieren auf den Horst Seehofer und der ist für alles verantwortlich, das werde ich persönlich nicht mitmachen. And I think der Watschenbaum is uh, something like an Ohrfeige, die Ohrfeige, singular, die Ohrfeigen, plural. Gleich folgt der Watschenbaum um. Gleich gibt's eine Ohrfeige. That would be my assumption, but let's see what Michi has to say about this. Gleich folgt der Watschenbaum um. Gleich gibt es ein paar Ohrfeigen. Okay, so I guess I actually got the, the main essence of that saying. Nice. Next one. Kinder, da die Show. Aber Ming, do you need? What? Gotta be honest with you. I didn't understand a single word in this one. It sounded very interesting and some, like I think the first term reminded me of Kinder, das Kind, singular, die Kinder, plural, the kids. But uh, the rest. <laughs> mm. Kinder, da die Show. Aber Ming, do you need? Actually, the last part of that phrase reminds me of some Scandinavian language, like maybe Suomi, Finnish, in a way, <laughs> like slightly, but then again, I think th the beginning sounds like Kinder, da die show, or Kine, which, <laughs> which almost sounds like Northern German, like dialects you would hear in north of Germany. Kinder, 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 da die, Kinder, da die show. Maybe show, show either makes me think of der Schuh, singular, die Schuhe, plural, the shoe, or die Schule, singular, die Schulen, plural, the school. And most probably both is wrong. I'm gonna listen to it one more time. Maybe this time I finally come up with a revelation of sorts. Kinder, da die Schuhe. Aber Ming, do you need? 
I got another idea, but that won't help me with the overall meaning of the sentence either. So anyway, I'm gonna say that da daddy show, like the, the show at the end of that part could also mean something like schon, but it might very well be schuh or schule, like a Bavarianized form of that. Does that term even exist, Bavarianized? Okay, let's see what this sentence, this saying actually means. Kinder, da die Show. Aber mengen tue ich nicht. Ich könnte schon, aber ich möchte nicht. Okay, now that I've heard the translation into standard or high German, it makes much more sense, but when you hear it, you don't really... Maybe it's just me, maybe it's just my old ears. But now it, it, I, I hear it. I hear the sort of resemblance in, in the words here and there. Can it daddy show? Können tät ich schon? It makes sense, you know? That's the strange thing about dialects. When you actually know what they convey to in the standard language, in the standard way of speaking, it makes sense, but... I guess I need to be surrounded more by Bavarians in the future. All right, I think there is another one, so let's wish me luck. Let's keep our fingers crossed Although we wouldn't actually do that in Germany, by the way, we would rather do this. We would press our thumbs in order to wish someone luck. In this case, myself. Ich glaub, dir brennt der Hurt. Okay, I think this one is a bit more obvious. I could be totally wrong though. I think it means something like, Ich glaub, dir brennt der Hintern. I'm not too sure about the last term though, what? but it could refer to der Hintern, singular, die Hintern plural, which is a kind of colloquial term for the butt, the ass. Ich glaub, dir brennt der Hurt. Ich glaub, dir brennt der Hintern. Could mean, if that is true, that you are very nervous about something and you are very uncertain. It, it could refer to a pretty, well, widely known and popular German saying that goes Dir geht der Arsch auf Grundeis. Also a very interesting saying, I think. Maybe I could talk about that in a future video, we'll see. Then again, Hut could also refer to der Hut, singular, die Hüte, plural, the hat. Just phonetically, like sound-wise. Ich glaub, dir brennt der Hut. Dir brennt der Hut. There's also the possibility that in the Bavarian dialect you have very, very distinct and own sayings other Germans don't really use or even know about. That's also a possibility, so... Hmm. Let's find out what this actually means. Ich glaub, dir brennt der Hut. Ich glaube, du spinnst. Okay, ich glaube, du spinnst. I think you're crazy. Interesting meaning of that. I wouldn't have guessed that. Certainly wouldn't have. So I wonder what that saying actually translates to in standard German. Ich glaube, dir brennt der Hut. Would that be... Or ich glaube, dir brennt der Hintern? Which one would be correct if one of these actually fit? Maybe Mike, Michi, Michael, Obermeier, you can tell us and uh, we will learn more about that. Would be interesting. And as I've seen, there's actually one more, I think. So let's go for it. Ah, du bist da auf der Brennsuppen dahergeschwommen. Although I'm tempted, I won't try to say that in Bavarian myself, in the Bavarian dialect, because I would totally butcher that, and that would be rude to Bavarians, so I'm not gonna try. But he says something along the lines of Du bist auf der Brennsuppe dahergeschwommen. 
I think maybe die Brennsuppe, I, I don't think it's an actual German word, although it sounds very interesting once again, would also be a compound word, a combination of at least two or three words to one single word, that is. Maybe it kind of relates to the previous saying meaning-wise, maybe it's about something stupid, a stupid idea. Ah, du bist da auf der Brennsuppe daher geschwommen. What you intend to do is not good. In fact, it's bad. Maybe it means something like that. Because apart from that, I don't have any idea what that could mean. Die Brennsuppe. The burning soup. Or the the burn soup. Let's find out. Ah, du bist da auf der Brennsuppe daher geschwommen. Du bist ein Depp. Okay, du bist ein Depp. That actually is pretty close to what I thought it could mean. Maybe you've noticed the term Depp, der Depp Singular, die Deppen Plural. And you might know that that's actually the surname, the family name of a very famous American actor. If he were German, he probably wouldn't want to be called Johnny Depp. Because a Depp is an imbecile a stupid person. So maybe not the best choice for a name. All right, these were the sayings Michael Obermeyer has actually challenged me with. I love stuff like this, but I, I, I wasn't worthy of the Bavarian dialect, of understanding the Bavarian dialect. Maybe that is a good conclusion to this video. I wasn't worthy, but someday I might be. And having said that, I highly recommend everything Michi has done including the GameTube channel, which is a German Let's Play channel, and he is one of four guys taking part in that, being a part of that. And if you're into video games or gaming-related things, I highly recommend checking out the GameStar magazine and the GameStar YouTube channel. I really enjoy watching that myself. And Michi is actually a part of many videos on that channel, including gaming news and similar things. So check those out. It's highly recommended work as well. And of course, also big thanks to Michi for taking part in this in the first place. And maybe we can arrange some other collaboration in the future. Would be cool. You can find links to all those mentioned things and more in the video description down below, including Michi's Twitter handle. If you want to follow him, believe me when I say that he is a really likable guy. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I might do more videos like this one in the future. Maybe also with other dialects and other YouTubers that might want to participate in this. We'll see about that. Either way, thanks for watching. I'm your vlog Dave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.